With the number one defense in the league, Holy Cross are prepared to take on the number one offense in the conference, Bentley, on Tuesday night at the Hart Center. Behind senior goalie Matt Ginn, the Crusaders will look to slow down the high-powered offense of Bentley. In honor of Thanksgiving, Holy Cross will be hosting a canned food drive with all items being donated to the Worcester County Food Bank. Friday night we didn't have our best effort and you know I, I, I don't know really why it happened. It could have been just fatigue from being on the road back to back weekends. We've had a long stretch of games where we've had eight, eight away games and only four home games in our first 12. It could have been a combination of that, but we, we didn't have a good first two periods. We were down 4-2, but we really showed a lot of resiliency coming back in the third. We scored two goals to tie it, and we had a lot of momentum. And then we had that, you know, at the end of the third, you had that break, you know, the two-minute break, and Army seemed to get a little bit of momentum back, and we just had a bad, we had a face-off in our zone with 30 seconds left. We, we didn't execute, and they took it to the net, and they scored kind of a scrum goal, and beat us with 10 seconds left. So that was disappointing, but we need to find some consistency scoring goals. We scored our most goals of the, of the year on Friday night when we scored four, but then we didn't have anything on Saturday. So it's something that we're working on and something that we're constantly trying to uh, develop some confidence with. And uh, hopefully this week off has been good with that. It's a little different, but I, I think you know, having a week off, I'd rather be playing on Tuesday than waiting till this Friday to play because then that's almost two weeks and that might be too long and the guys get tired of practicing against each other. You know, we're in the swing of the season, so to have a week off was good, but then to play on Tuesday, I think uh, guys are energized and excited. I definitely would consider it a rivalry. You know, the, all the Eastern pod teams are rivals of us, but I would say Bentley's probably the closest to us, so there is a rivalry. and. Bentley in the last five years have done, they've done a really good job and they've had a good program and they're continuing to get better. And I would say Holy Cross and Bentley have kind of battled each other for that top spot in the Eastern pod. And, you know, last year we lost all three tight games to them. And, you know, it's, it, they're someone that we're going to be competing with in the standings and someone that's going to be right there with us along the way. So it's a really big game. And, and because they are local, because we're so familiar with them, it adds a little bit more to it. But at the end of the day, it is two points, and it doesn't matter if we're playing Mercyhurst or Bentley, it's two league points, and we need to get back in, the, in our winning ways and, and try to accumulate as many points as we can. Playing at home, uh, it'll be good to be playing at home again, and uh, they're going to be a tough opponent, but we're really looking forward to the challenge. Be sure to come out and support the men's hockey team on Tuesday at the Hart Center, and don't forget your canned goods. For tickets to the game, go to GoHolyCross.com tickets. Reporting for GoHolyCross.com, I'm Kate Sullivan.